my name is uh, Santiago Calatrava. I am an architect and engineer, and uh, I, we are here in my, in my place in New York, uh, close to my studio, uh, my American studio. I have also uh, another office in Zurich, where I basically have been working in the last uh, more than 30 years, and we have also another small branch office uh, in Doha, Qatar, because we are involved in an important project there. I started uh, I, uh, in an art school, isn't it? I wanted to do um, art and draw and uh, uh, painting and sculpture. Then I decided after a short period of time in the school to, uh, uh, to switch into, uh, into uh, architecture and uh, then I complete the studies as an architect. Then after that, I study also civil engineering or structural engineering at the Polytechnicum in Zurich, Switzerland. If you uh, 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 look, you know, what means the word architecture, uh, particularly in the history of architecture, is something enormous abstract. It's probably from all the arts, and I deeply consider architecture as an art, the most abstract of all of them, simply because it nourishes itself from all the disciplines. So, uh, uh, architecture uh, has uh, uh, get, uh, not been painting, you know, can be enormous influence by painting. Look at the Sixteen Chapel, it's all about painting, or La Cappella dei Scrovegni, which is all about painting, isn't it? Or not being a sculptor can be also enormous. Uh, um, enriched by sculpture, think, think and some of the Gothic cathedrals, you know, with all those facades and all those beautiful shapes, and so on, you know, a, a, a architecture is also has to do with social science, has to do also with, uh, uh, even with pure technical uh, 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 aspects, you see, of the life, like transportation, you know, movement, aeroports, you know, aeroplanes who are landing, people who are arriving, uh, stations and all of that. So, but uh, still, you see, you see, I, uh, as I say, I always consider the architecture as an art, like painting, sculpting, dance, uh, or music, or whatever. And I, uh, uh, like I say, probably the most difficult to reach in terms of the preparation you need in order to deliver something who is coherent. I never conceive uh, an station, you know, as a series product. I think this is as as uh, particular uh, uh, th they are in terms of the functional belongings, you know, who are almost the same, you see, from station to station, but all of them are very, very different. So related to the place and the same thing happens with the bridges and so on. I have done also education buildings, also museums, and, but you have right, you know, uh, almost 90% of my work is public. And I enjoy it also, I have to say, I like uh, working for public authority. I think it is that is public, you know, it means belongs to everybody, you know, and I like that. It's true that um, the, the major part of the projects I have projected, you know, I have done, uh, they are rather challenging, isn't it? Challenging from the material and from the technical point of view. Uh, challenging and innovative, innovative. I was never, I, I uh, 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 I always thought, you know, that uh, uh, it's uh, almost a sin to repeat yourself, you understand? It's, it's, so the things, you know, you have to take advantage of every circumstance, you see, to deliver for these people and for this circumstance the very best and the newest you can deliver. Now, working from country to country, it does not mean working with the same technological capacity of the construction companies who are involved. And, uh, uh, of course, I understand uh, there is a big challenge, you see. Now, there are countries like the United States of America, you see, may it appear in a certain, uh, under a certain optic, you see, that they are very conservative, but are, is the place where I have done probably the most innovative structures, sometimes submitted in places in which, you see, the capacity of the place is not as high, and more than that, even the will of the, the 
construction companies, you know, to follow you and to bring their best, you understand, and to shape uh, them, you know, in order to accept the challenge is not there. They are just simply working for profit or they are, you see, accustomed to other standards and they don't want to move into an extraordinary standard. And this is something who happened, you know, after 30 years of work, you see, in uh, more than 17 countries, you know, it happens to you that once you get confronted, you know, in such a circumstance. It was, if I look back, it was very risky, you see, and I was very lucky. <laughs> because, uh, risky because, um, I mean, I understand that the way, uh, the, the path of the competition, you know, is a very uh, daring one, you see. So, uh, with all your enthusiasm, you are 30, 31, 32, you know, you go in your first competition and you do your first competition, isn't it? And then you are disappointed, you do not win it. Then you do your second competition with a lot of uh, enthusiasm and then you also don't win it. And if you do your third competition and you don't win it, then you are a little bit, you know, uh, uh, let's say in a position that you may maybe not go anymore for a competition, isn't it? But I found a lot of um, support by my colleagues. You see that the first commissions I received by sides of the competition was maybe to do a small balcony, to do a canopy, to, to work with another colleague, you know, helping him, you know, to do some roofs. This is a very peculiar way, you know, how I started my very first job until because I have done a balcony uh, in a very uh, special place called to the old station of Stadelhof and they invited me, uh, you see, to work in the competition. And uh, 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 then, uh, you know, competition needs to be, and this is what I think even today, a matter of precision. You see, so you have to deliver the answer, you understand, to the right problem. So it's very important to think about the problem and deliver an answer to the problem. And maybe the fact of being also an engineer has helped me, you know, very much in the beginning because my mind was structured also uh, uh, strongly, you know, after the rigorous uh, way of thinking of an engineer, which I keep doing today.